Hi, kindergarten readers. So today we're going to do some word work. And instead of thinking about decoding words, today's word work is going to be about reading our sight words really quickly. These are, this is a list of all the words that we're going to see in our next book. And I'll show you that book real quickly. It's a super cool book called Going on a Train Ride. And it's a little bit harder than some of the other books we've been reading. It's going to help you a lot if you can read all these words quickly. So we're going to practice that right now. I want you to take a look at the words. I'm going to point to the words and you're going to say them quickly. Ready? Some of these you might remember really well. Some you might forget. Some of them you can sound out. Others are a little harder. You can use the first letter to help you get started if you're not sure. This one we know, we can't sound it out, but we should know it, T-H-E. All right, let's read them together now. I hope you were able to read most of those words. A, I, are you reading with me? Am, can, go, come, he, she, big, little, to, with, and the and on i'm going to add one more word to our list this was not on the word wall at parkmore but we have talked about it we i think we've seen it see if you can read that word sound it out what sound does you make uh right like in the word up but this has a at the end so it's uh ah, very good um i'm going to show you a couple games that you can play and I'm, this is kind of for the parents i hope there's a parent or um, a sibling watching with you right now and if not you can um you know get your mom or dad or someone grandma someone that who lives at your house with you that might um, be able to help you practice your sight words so the first thing i'm going to show is the game look, say, cover, write, check. So boys and girls, you remember this game. We played this at school a lot. Look, say, cover, write, check. That's five things you get to do, right? Look, say, cover, write, check. All right, so the first thing you do is you look at a word. So I'm gonna write it down and this is what your helper will do. Your mom or your dad or your big brother. So you're going to write down a word. The helper's going to write down a word that maybe you need a little practice with. So then you're going to look at the word. So step one is look. Look at that word. Now you're going to say it, right? I hope you said come. If you had trouble with it, your helper can remind you, right? Or your helper can say, what's, how does that word start? C hmm, what is that word? Come. So we did look and say. Now I cover it up. So you cover up the word. Look, say, cover, write. So now the student writes the word. So you can use paper and pencil or crayon or marker, whatever you like to write with. Um, it's okay if you don't have a whiteboard and a marker at home. You can write it down on anything. So I hope you had a chance to write the word and then you get to check it. So after you wrote the word, you check. And if you didn't get it quite perfect, then you can fix it, right? Um, while we're, I'm going to back up to the look part, so don't forget, boys and girls, and I'm going to tell your helper too, you need to do whatever helps you the best remember what that word looks like. And a lot of times at school I would say, take a look at that word with your camera eyeballs, right? Look at it really carefully. Some of us are visual learners, and that means when we, we remember what we see. So really look carefully and remember what it looks like. Some of us are auditory learners, and that means you use your ears more than your eyes. And so if that's, if that's you, you can say the letters out loud. That might help you. We do that a lot with the word the, right? We say T-H-E spells the. And sometimes that really helps us. So you might say C-O-M-E, come. You might do that a couple times while you're looking at the word, and then you cover it up. 
So that's the game Look, Say, Cover, Write, Check. And I'm going to show you one other game that you can play. And this is one we didn't play yet. We didn't get to it yet at Parkmore. So you'll have to learn it on your own. It's a game where you make cards. Here's our new word, us. And um, I actually, here's another, whoops, here's another word that we, that's kind of a newer word, the word come. That's the one I just showed you for look, say, cover, write, check. So I made pairs of word cards. So I, have, I wrote, I wrote the word come two times on two different little cards, and I decided to recycle something in my house. This game works best <clears throat> if you use something a little heavier than paper. So, if you, so you could write the words on pieces of paper, but then I'll show you what how we play the game. Paper is a little bit hard to 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 uh, pick up and turn over. It works better if you have something that's like a lightweight cardboard or an index card. Um, I found out that this old soda pop box. Um, worked really well. I, there was, I had a box that had 12 cans of some soda pop in it, and so um, I cut those up into little cards. It, was, it worked really well, and so I got to recycle something that I would have just thrown away. So now I'm going to show you what this game looks like. Um, I'm going to move my camera. Let's see if I can do this real quick. All right, so. All right, so here's the game. So I made six pairs of words. It works really well if you have 12 cards because then you can set it up in this nice grid. It's like kind of like a square, like a rectangle pattern. So I have two copies of every word. Some of them you can't see. I left some of them turned over so you can sort of see how I'm doing this. And I'm turning, so, that, so to start the game, you're going to have them all turned over. They're all sort of mixed up, right? They're mixed up and now I turn them over so now they're hidden. So some of you have played a memory game like this before. This is like a homemade memory game you can play with your sight words. So the way you play the game is you need to have at least a couple people playing. So get your a brother or sister or a mom or a grandma or a dad or someone to play with you. And so the student's going to turn over a word and read it. What's that word? Ah, oh, it's our new word, us. So now you're going to turn over another word. I'm going to go over here and turn this one over. Oh, I, want, I was hoping I would find the word us again, but what did I find? And... So then you have to, so I didn't get, I don't get to keep those words. I have to turn them back over. So you want to sort of leave them where they were so other people can remember. So the next person is going to take a turn now and they might turn over this word. Oh, wow. What word did I find? It's the word and. And we just saw that, didn't we? So you want to try to remember like, hmm, which one was it? Was it here or here? Oh, I think it was this one, right? So I'm going to turn this over. Hey, guess what? Now I get to take these, this pair of words and keep them because I found the word and. So now it's the next person's turn. So you keep playing until you have all the words um, matched up into pairs. And it's just a fun way to help remember what these words look like and to get the kids reading the words quickly. So I'm going to... Say goodbye.